Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha. I blog every day at kjaggers.com. That link is below, as well as links to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'd love it if you followed along on those sites as well. You'll get, you know, more pictures, more updates, more, more us. So, I am back with another video in my 2016 planning series. In this video, we're actually going to do some planning. So, you know, I like a big family calendar. You can go through some of my playlists and see how I've set it up before. But I like to know what everyone's doing. And while there are some apps that I'm enjoying, and I will do another video about like planner apps and different organizational apps in this series that I, you know, I'm happy to be using, I still like a pen and paper kind of calendar. I like a big calendar um, so my family sees it. I like it bright and bold so they actually look at it which is important and you know it fills up more as obviously the month goes on but it's something that's made a difference in our lives in so many different ways. We don't miss appointments. We um, you know, we know when important things happened. It always starts right here in my Midori Traveler's Notebook because I really start planning here. And a lot of the stuff um, in the notebook just goes right onto the family calendar. And then as things come up, there's different ways I keep track of that for the following month. Some months I write just at the bottom of the calendar upcoming um, things going on for the following month or um, sometimes I'll go in and write it in pencil so I can erase it and make it bold later when I go back to do like a little decorating and planning. Um, this time I've done something a little different with tabs. I'm going to show you what that is. I actually want to show you where this is at in my kitchen so you can kind of see, um, you know, where we, where we have it. So let's go do that and then I will get back in here. I will pan the camera down and we will start planning for June 2016. And I really hope this inspires you to get a calendar for your family. You know, it, it matters more, at least to me, as the kids are getting older and more involved in stuff. Um, but it mattered before as well. We, Scott and I kept track of all of our stuff. It doesn't matter how big your family is. Um, if it's just you, a nice big calendar with your appointments and your schedule is, you know, really nice to have. Where you can, you know, easily access it and easily see it. Um, so you don't get behind and when you have a lot of kids a big calendar I think would be necessary especially if they're involved in you know sports and different activities so let's go to the kitchen and then we will start planning okay so here in our kitchen we have these calendars we have this whiteboard and pegboard I really like the calendars where my family will see them last time it was on the chalkboard wall in our old house and I'll put a couple links in at the top and on the blog post where you can check that out I plan on buying another like the chalkboard wall that just sticks from Etsy on the wall and put it you know um, put it up on the wall as well when I and that's when I'm gonna move this this was Brittany's cheer schedule and she's got a lot but it's mostly on this calendar now what I want to talk to you about before we start the plan with me where we get out the stickers and all that I want you to see how my calendar looks for right now because there hasn't been a lot of time to spend and decorate really we jumped right into things as soon as we moved here so as I said many times, all you need is a pen and some paper, a pen and a calendar. Um, you know, obviously I use some highlighters to mark some different important dates. Over here on the side, I use these tabs and they are for the following month. So they're different appointments that just are tabbed up right there um, that's going to be coming up in June. So that's how we're keeping track of what's happening next month as well as what's happening this month. And when I start, um, you know, really planning and mapping out everything on the June calendar, of course, I will go through these, add them to it and discard them. So it was just a quick way of organizing our life family style and it's not organized at all but it still kept us straight it kept um, the kids 
on time at their appointments and practices and it just it just makes life so much easier that's why i'm a huge fan of planning and calendars because it's made such a difference in my own life so now we're going to get started we are going to go in the bedroom at the desk and start planning out the month of june so before we go all into the planning on the family calendar, I wanted to share the stickers that came from Station Stickers. I was recently contacted to see her and try out her monthly sticker kits. So this is the June 2016 kit. When you open it up, there's a cute little note on the inside. Um, it says, how do you like the June sticker stash? Question mark. The teal foil accents are another favorite and they go so well with this theme by Etsy's um, Lee Coke design, I think. Croc? Maybe Croc. The station stickers team is excited to have you as a club member. We are constantly looking to make your experience better so please let us know if you have any suggestions thank you for supporting our small family run business all stickers are homemade with love but if you find any mistakes let us know and we'll take care of it first sneak peek for the next month champagne foil so you can kind of see that she gives you a hint of what it's going to be so here's the stickers let's go over this one first so you can see god aren't this pretty so you got love life be bold true story next week night out hello sunshine life is good shop then you got some pretty flowers plan dream big noted this week perfect and then more flowers those are gorgeous oh my gosh then she gives you some different flags this one says don't forget then you get a row of flowers and then you got to do a row of flowers and then another flag that says hello and then you got these at the bottom those are so pretty oh my gosh then I'm so sorry then we have um, some like half boxes more flags Plan, noted, work, do, buy, clean, shop, email, and call. Then you got these little drops right here and some, you know, thin little washi strips. Again, those are just gorgeous. Then you got heart, like check off flags, and these little boxes and some check marks and some hearts. And then at the bottom, you can see all the different little words that you can use and then the last page here is hashtags a couple of them and cleaning to do bill do payday brunch date and then some flowers so I love those beautiful so those are let me kind of zoom out just a little bit so you guys can see it a little better those are the stickers that came in the June Station Stickers Monthly Kit. They are absolutely gorgeous. And I think it's a nice amount of stickers. They are so pretty. I'll have more details about Station Stickers below in the down bar. And I'll let you know more about this kit and all the other kits that she has. So it will be included on the blog post as well. So now let's get planning and... Yeah, let's get doing it. Let's get that family calendar updated so we know what we're doing. Okay, so I got the calendar off the kitchen wall. We'll go over that in just a minute. But I do have my Midori Traveler's Notebook out here. And um, it's great because I can reference from the June calendar and the weekly spread. And kind of, you know, see what's going on that I already have marked down in this um, particular planner. Most of my planning starts right here in this book. So I'm just going to set it right here for reference. So... You know, May was the first full month we lived in this house. So it was extremely busy, and it's really only going to get busier. But because it was so busy and that we had so much going on, I really didn't, 
you know, take time to decorate it. And as I explained in the kitchen, all you really need is a pin and a calendar and you're set. You don't need everything I'm about to share with you. But I do like jazzing these family calendars up. Number one, it's cuter, you know, hanging in the kitchen, decorated. And also, it stands out to my husband and to my children. And it gets them to look at the calendar more. I was, you know, um, just trying to stay above water with writing everything out. But it worked out well. And over here on the side is some of the stuff we have coming up. So I'm going to rip this one off. I'm going to have to get a new one of these, which is perfect because... Um, school starts here earlier than South Carolina, and all of the school supplies will be on sale, so it'll be the perfect time to get a new big family calendar. So, I think I just got this at um, Walmart, if I remember right. With these, I fold them up, and I put them in our little mini filing cabinet. And that way, I have them, um, you know, for, for reference you know, later in the future if need be. They do take up a little bit of room, but that's okay. And that's done. So we got June, and all of these little tabs, I just wrote, like, what was going on and when. And I just put them on the side over here, so I know to put that in. Now, some of the stuff I'm going to be using are these cute little post-its. I have some of my favorite stickers. I have a bunch more than that. I have some stamps that I like a lot. I have a box of washi tape that I'll probably use some. I'm just going to kind of go with it. So I'm going to speed up the camera so you guys don't have to like watch every single second of me doing things in slow motion. So let's get going. I hope you enjoy the music because I'm going to put some music over. So let's get planning.
So I feel like I have got a good start on the month. And, you know, like I said, it fills in as we go. So I'm going to put this back on the wall, take you back in the kitchen, and finish this video up. Okay, so you can see it back on the wall now. And you can see that it's very bright and it's bold. So I just put, I would have put an arrow down. I probably should have. But on, you know, like days where it happens all the same time every week, like we have tumbling on Sundays. So I just put it here and I know it will be every Sunday. And then I referenced a bill and as more of those come in, we'll get them up on, you know, the calendar. Cheer practice. Um, here is the summer concert series that I want to be aware of. You can see how I did trash day with washi all the way down because it's a new day and we're still getting used to that. Um, and then here I did this cute little traveler's notebook stamp about Brittany flying out. I also have, um, you know, like the Twilight Cinema on the riverfront marked here because it's every Saturday. Love that. And then I have the Brittany's Gone with the washi. I marked my best friend's birthday. A movie that's coming out on Amazon, a date night, and I didn't put where we're going because we're, we're still figuring that out. We got two date nights planned, and I know this one is supposed to be a murder mystery dinner, but I'm not sure what this one is. Um, but in days that we're, Scott and I are going out, the day Brittany will be home, flag day of course, my sister-in-law's birthday, Marie's birthday. This is picnic day, and I added some of those cute stickers from station stickers. These are station stickers as well. And um, that is just to remind me to take the kids out, enjoy a beautiful day out at the park. I'm pointing here to Father's Day, and um, I want the kids to think of some gift ideas and uh, maybe we can write down the stores that we need to go to to get those. I put this cute palm tree and surfboard for the first day of summer. It does come down into the 27th a little bit. That's completely fine. And then I have some other things coming up here as well as other things right here for the following month. I'm going to leave those right there because um, I really don't have any other place to put them until I buy, you know, another calendar because this is the last month. This thing has been so handy to me. This one for Brittany's schedule has been handy. This one's been handy for dinner ideas, for paperwork, for pictures, whatever we need. This is our simple little control center. I mean, it is very simple. But again, everyone can see that calendar and they can see it great. So I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing me plan. It wasn't, you know, super in-depth because this really fills up as we go through the month. So things will come up. They, they will be written here. We will kind of follow routine the best we can. I think, you know, a family calendar like this is so important. No matter what size your family is, it keeps everything in track and it keeps everyone kind of on the same page. So again, there are some electronic calendars that I'm using and loving and we will go over that. But no matter if we lose a phone or, you know, something comes up and we don't put it in, it still always goes here. So, you know, you can reference this calendar for the um, online calendars and the different calendar apps that you know we all love and use so if you have any questions or comments please leave those below give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video please check out station stickers her monthly kits are amazing they are so pretty I I love them I'll definitely be putting an order myself all of her information is linked below thank you guys so much for watching bye